All right, guys, so I know there's a lot of you out there that want to see an update to that zucchini video that I posted, and we had a lot of fun with it. There were a lot of funny comments on there, and I know some people are probably repulsed by this, but there's a whole underworld of this kind of stuff taking place. So all that being said, uh, I've got a few things I want to talk about here. One of them is uh, there's a few comments on there, which I welcome all comments, um, that go into all the breakdown of the scientific evidence, you know, and, and sometimes people like to talk about studies and trials and things like that have been done. That's all really important, but on this little farm, I'm interested in results. And I want you guys to understand that, you know, this, the science is really important, but I'm going to tell you the truth of everything that I'm doing here. I'm not going to lie to you or make, stretch things out, make things seem more important or like we got better results than we did. I'm just going to tell you if it screws up, it screws up. If it works, it works. And I'm telling you everything I've done out here is exactly what I'm telling you I've done. And you're looking at the results for yourself. So that kind of leads into the first thing that I really want to talk about here, and that is seeing is believing. I've gotten a ton of comments on this video in particular, and if Johnny, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up in the corner here, uh, but it's that first urinating on your plants video, and I got a ton of comments about people saying, well, don't you have to dilute it? Or some people have said, yes, you have to dilute it, you know, one to 10 or one to 15. And, you know, people come on and they just say all kinds of things. And I think it's so funny because I'm telling you guys exactly what I did and I'm showing you the results and people still doubt it. They're coming on saying, you have to do this and you have to do that. And no, he's wrong about that. Or no, he's you know right about that. I'm telling you guys, exactly what I'm doing and I'm showing you the results. So scientific evidence and studies and all this other stuff, it's important, but pay attention to the results. This guy's active today. <laughs> pay attention to the results of what's going on. Listen to what I'm doing and you'll see for yourself. You don't have to wonder. One particular person came on and said, I heard you have to dilute it. Don't you have to dilute the urine? after I posted the video saying I'm not diluting it. So I'm telling you guys, just listen, watch what's going on, see for yourself, and start believing, all right? All right, and we'll always be straightforward with you here, okay? I'm not gonna exaggerate results. So that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, you, the other thing kind of leading into that is you don't need to dilute it. Now, on top of that, I drink a ton of water through the day. I don't drink sodas or you know anything else. I drink a little beer at night, but I don't drink sodas through the day. I don't drink tea. I drink a little coffee in the morning, a little beer at night. But other than that, I drink a ton of water through the day. And, and I'm only telling you guys that so you know what's coming into me, so you know what's coming out of me. I eat a pretty healthy diet. Um, my urine tends to be pretty light, pretty light and clear. And so maybe that has something to do with the fact that I'm not burning the plant, I don't know. Um, it, it, you know, it's working out great here, but if you're somebody who doesn't drink a lot of fluids and your urine is really, really dark and strong, then maybe you do need to dilute it. However, I drink a ton of water, it comes out clear, it's not an issue for me, and I'm telling you, I'm just taking a whiz on these plants straight on. There's no dilution necessary. Um, let's see here. The what a couple of things I noticed. I want to talk about that for a second. Then we're going to go out and take a look at these plants or this. Well, all four of them. Um, when I started doing this, and it's probably been a month, maybe five weeks now. The first couple of weeks, all I did was go out there. You know, in between my work schedules, it was probably six times over a two-week period. I went out there took a whiz on the one plant and a little bit on the other one and uh, that was all I did <clears throat> because I you know with my work schedule I'm gone for 14 hours so I only have really the opportunity at certain times so about six days spread out over a two-week period over the next two weeks and I told you I threw some wood ash on uh, on the plant at that time then over the next couple weeks I noticed this is working great these things are doing awesome I'm just gonna make step this up a little bit so it was like twice a day 
you know, three days on, two days off, three days on to something like that, you know, going in along with my work schedule. So twice a day about, sometimes once a day, but twice a day for the next two weeks. And I noticed that the leaves were getting bigger, the stems were getting stronger, and everything was getting darker and darker and darker green. And I just, I couldn't believe how green, how dark green this thing's getting and you're going to see it here in a second now i finally got to a point where i said is this too much nitrogen am i am i starting to cross a line here is it going to start burning the plant and the other thing is i wanted it to start producing actual fruit you know i wanted some zucchinis to show up so i thought is there a point where i need to stop doing this and and it's got plenty of nitrogen and i need to back off and so i did about a week ago i maybe i've done this on the plant maybe you know whizzed on the plant once over the last week but i started backing off and i dumped a whole handful about a week ago another huge handful big handful of just straight wood ash all around the base of the plant about a foot out from it and i noticed i'm getting tons more flower production and zucchinis starting to form on that thing and so i think that has something to do with actual fruit production so I just want to tell you guys all this so you know exactly what I'm doing and you can go ahead and repeat the steps yourself. So let's go ahead and head out. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there was one more issue people were talking about and there were a few comments about it and I think it is important. I really agree with it 100% and that is medication. If you're somebody that takes medication, yes, the residue of that stuff can, after it's broken down, can come through your urine and it is, you know, it is in your urine. So if you're worried at all about it, if you take medication, then maybe you need to get somebody else to come over and whiz on your plan. I know a lot of people take medication and it could be an issue. Now, I'm not saying if you take it not to do this, uh, you could also look up what medications are harmful. I'm sure not all medications are gonna be an issue for this plant. I don't think plant roots are readily going to uptake a lot of residues of different medications they'll probably just leach through your soil i don't know 100 percent so you might want to research it a little bit more if you're somebody that's on chemotherapy that probably is an issue and you probably don't want to be doing this um, but if you're somebody that's taking like a lisinopril or just some other blood pressure medication once a day or an aspirin i don't think it's going to be a problem but you should research it first so i think that covers a lot of the issues people were talking about the biggest one you don't need to dilute it as long as you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day all right let's go out and take a look at this little zucchini plant and see what's going on with it all right guys are you ready to see this thing are you sure you're ready are you really sure all right let's look take a look at this guys i mean dang <laughs> do you if you remember the last video on this subject Actually, go back and click on that. Actually, I'll try to put a little link here real quick, a little video up in the corner or something, showing, comparing the this this zucchini with the one with the video I took a couple weeks ago. I mean, this thing's enormous. It's it's starting to take over this other little zucchini plant, and I pretty much gave up on this guy, and this guy, and this guy. They've greened up a little bit but they're you know they're still getting some residual effects of urinating on these guys a little bit this guy i've still done nothing to and look how small that is in comparison but look at this guy i mean the results speak for themselves and if you guys are skeptical at all i mean like i said seeing is believing right the results speak for themselves and they're right in front of you you don't need to dilute it and that you know, i mean as long as you're drinking plenty of water through the day you don't need to dilute it i was at one point urinating on this thing twice a day for three days in a row occasionally three times a day and look at this and like i said maybe a week ago i stopped completely maybe once over that last week and i put tons more wood ash down in the base and look at the size of these flowers i mean I'm just amazed. The thing I don't know, I'm learning about these vegetable crops. Do I need to hand pollinate these guys? I don't know. Well, it looks like there's a zucchini on there, so it's pollinated. Look at the size of that thing. Look at that. I mean, this, this plant is just beautiful. Look at all the little zucchinis 
they're forming down in there and the flowers, the new flowers and the new growth just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. It's just, a, I'm just completely amazed, just really amazed at the size of this thing. And, and not just the size, but the production. I mean, look at, okay, so check that guy out. It's green, but it's like a lime green, you know? I mean, look at it in comparison. Look at the leaves. Look at the size of the leaves. And then look at the, how deep green everything is. The stems are deep green. Everything is just so lush and deep green. And those flowers are just, the flowers are just enormous. They're the size of my hand. I mean, I'm really impressed with that, guys. And I hope you are too. And I hope you see once and for all that urinating on your plants is not a bad thing. In fact, it's an outstanding thing to do. And that coupled with the two applications of wood ash, just one handful of wood ash, and we are just gonna have some beautiful, beautiful zucchini come late summer. I mean, I'm just, I am so impressed with that. I know it sure did for me and I'm just amazed at the growth that that plant has put on in a few weeks compared to the other plants that are sitting right next to it identical plants planted at the same time so if you guys like this video please like it comment down below let's continue this conversation have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video